I've been on the carnivore diet for 14 months now. And in this video, I'm going to give you the one piece of advice I wish I'd had when I first started. Now this advice is important if you're just starting carnivore, but it's also important for veteran carnivores. It's important if you're new because it'll help you to stick to carnivore and avoid giving in to those cravings. And it's important if you're a veteran because it's a simple piece of advice that you can pass on to other newbies that are starting carnivore. If you find the information in this video useful, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button and also hit subscribe. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave the link to Patreon in the description for this video. Let's get into it. So regardless where you are on your carnivore journey, imagine this. You've got a lot of weight to lose and you've got a lot of health issues. You found out about carnivore just a few weeks ago. And over those few weeks, you've been consuming carnivore content like crazy. You're almost ready to get started. You've cleaned out the kitchen of most of the junk. You've even semi-started eating carnivore already. You're still eating some carbs, but you're eating more eggs and meat than you've ever eaten before. This coming Monday is going to be your day one. Over the weekend, you're going to have your last sip of alcohol and your last treat. And then come the start of the new week, it's game on. Finally, you're going to be able to solve these weight and health issues. With all the success stories you've watched, you're sure you're finally going to be able to turn your own problems around. Monday morning arrives and you cook up some eggs and bacon. You devour them and you feel satisfied. Next, you cook up your lunch, more eggs and some beef. You pack all that in a container and you head off to work. At work, you feel satisfied and more focused all throughout the morning and so you delay your lunch for an extra hour. When you finally do have your lunch, opening that container of cold eggs and beef and sticking it in the microwave, it no longer looks as appetizing as you expected. But you know you're doing the right thing, so you continue with your preparation. You sit down and polish off your lunch. You feel satisfied, but emotionally you don't feel quite as satisfied as you did after breakfast. Something's not feeling right. And when you get home that evening, you're fighting with yourself. Internally, there's a battle raging. One part of you is saying, stay the distance. The other part is saying, how are you going to stick with this your whole life? You'll never be able to socialize again. What will you do when your friends want to go out for dinner or sweets or for a drink? Give in, and you may as well give in right now. You flop down on the sofa, the war still going on in your head. You almost get back up and run to the kitchen for a snack. Then you realize you threw all the snacks out. You flip on the TV for some distraction, and the food commercials come on. And within minutes, you've ordered a pizza, and some wings, and a bottle of soda, and a bucket of ice cream. And if this sounds familiar, that's because it's normal. I've lost count the number of times this has happened to me. What I'd like to do now is offer some advice that might help you when you're in this situation. For anyone that's getting started with keto, ketovore or carnivore, there's some good news. Once you get past those cravings, it's easier than any other ways of eating. Because you don't feel hungry. But getting past those initial cravings can be tough. So here's what to do. Stop thinking about carnivore in the long term. When you're just getting started, your emotions around food are in the moment. Your emotions about food don't care about next week, next year, or even tomorrow. Your emotions care about being satisfied right now. So that's the way you need to be thinking about carnivore. Don't think about how you're going to feel next week. Just focus on sticking with carnivore for a short period. When those cravings hit, don't let your mind wander into carnivore having to be a long-term thing. Focus on the now. Focus on getting into bed that night without giving in to any cravings. And tell yourself, if you wake up with cravings, then you'll reevaluate. then. Just focus on getting into bed that day without giving in. And give yourself that little bit of slack that you're going to be able to reevaluate tomorrow. And this suddenly becomes much more achievable. And reframes you out of that mindset of, I can't do this forever. A focus on getting into bed without giving in is more likely to lead you to success. And when you wake up the next day, you'll feel better because you've now gone 24 hours without any junk. And you'll feel better because you didn't give in. 
and your resolve will be up a notch so it'll be easier for you to continue. And all you need to do is focus on not giving in during a 24 hour period. Don't focus beyond that until you know you're ready. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.